on October 25, 1864, one of the largest cavalry battles or engagements of the Civil War was fought. The dramatic story of this major Kansas battle comes alive on the banks of Mine Creek. Coming up, exploring Kansas history on the road with Barrett Young. Today we visit Mine Creek Battlefield State Historic Site near Pleasanton, Kansas to learn about the lost battle of the Civil War. Located two and a half miles southwest of Pleasanton in eastern Kansas, Mine Creek Battlefield State Historic Site commemorates the Civil War Battle of Mine Creek in October of 1864. It involved hundreds of horses and wagons and some 2,800 Union soldiers as they defeated a Confederate cavalry of 7,000. Site Administrator James Dick tells us more. So the Battle of Mine Creek was the very last part of Price's campaign. It was the last day of a series of battles starting at the Little Blue, Big Blue, Westport, up in Kansas City area, trading post just north of here, right near where the Mertazine site is, and then this site. It was a delaying action to allow General Price and his caravan to buy time. This was the last real organized resistance trans-Mississippi. It was the last significant battle fought by the Confederacy. We had a skirmish in Newtonia following this, and then elements of the Union Army followed the Confederates all the way down into Oklahoma and Arkansas. But this was the last significant battle. Site Administrator Dick tells us what made the battle significant. This was the largest uh, cavalry battle west of the Mississippi, the second largest cavalry battle of the entire Civil War. A lot of the action on the Kansas-Missouri border was Jayhawker, Bushwhacker type actions, which were quick strikes. This was a sustained engagement. The fact that they held that line is absolutely stunning to me. The Union riding into overwhelming numbers, the Confederacy sick, demoralized, retreating, uh, making their stand. Both sides did an astounding job at what they were tasked to do. With a muddy field as a battlefield, the Union cavalry charged at 11 o'clock a.m. By 11.30 a.m., the Confederates were in full retreat. In the space of half an hour, the Union had 94 wounded and 15 killed, while the Confederacy had 250 wounded, 300 killed, and 600 captured. Although the town of Pleasanton wasn't here, Mount City was here, there were assorted farms, and they were the ones who came out and treated the wounded, both southern and northern. They were the ones who were ultimately tasked with burying the dead and taking them off. So I think that this is a group of people who had seen the ravages of war since 1855. I, I don't think it was as shocking to them as it was in some other locations. However, I, I can't imagine the impact of going out and seeing all the wounded and dead from your local farm. A couple of uh, farm families here were out immediately after the battle taking care of people. When asked why the state of Kansas established this historic site, Administrator Dick replied, The Historical Society did something really amazing in my opinion. They put the Meredizine site and the Mine Creek site under the same onus and they're very close together. I think every battle that was fought in Kansas and Missouri um, throughout the country has a very important role to tell. I think Mine Creek has been underplayed. There, was, there wasn't a large media presence here. There wasn't any big towns or anything to set the stage for writers to write about. That being said, the sheer bravery, the sheer determinedness of both sides is astounding. The Visitor Center tells the story of a civil war in the West and the significance of a battle of Mine Creek. Visitors can explore the 2.6 mile walking trail which winds through the battlefield and features interpretive signs about the battle of Mine Creek. I hope you have enjoyed our visit to Mine Creek Battlefield State Historic Site. Until next time, this is Barrett Young.